a heavy rain began and the wiper started jamming. Unfortunately, I still haven't repaired the damage on the Velomobile. I just haven't had time for it. I'm driving it in this condition. Looks messy, but it works for now. Today, I want to install a wiper on the windshield and modify the latch that will hold the windshield in the position I choose. This is how I'll install the wiper designed for a motorcycle helmet, which I bought on AliExpress. It runs on 5 volts via USB and will wipe my visor. I need to route the wires internally, connect the power, and install a switch for control. That's what this video is about. This is how the device works. I cut off the protruding part of the glass. Now the angle of installation is more correct. Next, I need to make a latch that will hold it in the desired position. Here is the fully open position. In the fully closed position, it holds itself. The idea is to use this kind of device. It will be attached to this rod. There are slots here that it will lock into. This spring will pass through this small hole in the front and will pull everything forward to secure it. When I need to open the visor, I'll pull it back from inside, change the position, and release it. The spring will then lock it in the chosen position. But first, I need to elongate this hole. I'll try using this tool. Unfortunately, I don't have time to film the process, so I'll just show you the result. It worked, but the tool's working tip wore out completely. Really low quality bit for this tool. Here's what I ended up with. I can lift it at any time to remove the visor if needed, and to lower it, oh, I might have shortened the spring too much. Here's how it looks from the inside. If I want to open it, for example, I can do it easily with one hand. In fact, the second most significant problem while driving after the rain on the windshield is fogging inside. I usually keep a dry cloth handy and periodically wipe the inside of the windshield like this. It might make sense to install something like a miniature 10 watt hair dryer here to blow warm air onto the glass. That might solve the problem because simple ventilation doesn't solve fogging at all. Let's check how it works. You can see that it doesn't wipe properly. It doesn't remove the drops because it doesn't press down tightly. You can see the gap. You can see that the central part doesn't make contact. I'll try heating the edges with a soldering iron and hopefully the spring will press the central part against the glass. Now it looks better. Okay. 
since I have very little time, um, I'll install the switch right here. Although ideally it should be mounted somewhere here on this cover. There should also be a connector on the wire so that if I drive without the cover, I can disconnect the entire system and leave it on the cover since I won't need the wiper without the cover. But there's no time for that now. These wires and parts are pretty haphazardly assembled, but here's the converter, which powers the dash cam at 5 volts. I'll use it to power the wiper. Then I need to route the wire here. And here's the result. Although I tried not to run the wiper on a dry windshield, it still scratched the glass. The wiper is good, but I'll likely have to replace the visor frequently. So here's the new switch. Turn it on. I hope it works better than it did without it, but we'll only know how well it works when it rains for real. Turning on the wiper. I haven't driven in heavy rain yet, um, but there was a light shower while the Velomobile was parked. It's still not completely dry. The problem is that there's still a gap here. It's probably because this thing is mounted in three points, but it should be mounted in two. I'll probably replace it. Here's how it looks. Drops remain. It wiped here, but not here or here. There's an unwiped area. Another couple of days passed. I still haven't driven in heavy rain. The opportunity hasn't come up. But here's a typical situation. Rain drops on the glass after the rain. It just ended. When opening the cabin, some drops fall inside. Somehow they're dripping, probably from here, and end up inside. Right here. That's obviously not good. I need to come up with something to stop them from getting in here. It's been a week since I installed the wiper. During this week, it has noticeably scratched the glass. And now, for the first time, I'm going to drive in the rain. Here's what it looks like without the wiper, but I haven't worked on it yet. It still doesn't press down properly. And now I'm turning it on. It does have some effect. Looks like there's no one around. Time to go. Really heavy rain started and the wiper began to jam. Perfect. Just when it's needed most, it glitches. Typical. It's not working well at all. 
Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Lousy. I had to stop and open the visor. Let's try again. Come on. Well, it's clear what's happening with this. Luckily, the rain ended so I can drive with the visor up. But that's obviously not ideal. I need to do something about this. Here's what I found out on the road. It jams like this. But if you tap it, it starts working again. A bit more than a week since installing the wiper. Here you can clearly see where it doesn't make contact. I'll try replacing the wiper blade itself. I have an old one from a car. I can cut a piece from it. I cut a piece from the large car wiper. It's fixed on one side and can move at the other end. There's a metal strip here that tries to keep the blade straight. But the old one doesn't have any strip. It only has three mounting points, which I bent. And that's probably why it's not working. Well, now I'll unscrew this bolt. The original bolt was lost. And I'll replace the, and I'll replace the blade with this one. It's a bit larger, but it seems to fit, although it's a tight fit. Unfortunately, replacing it isn't straightforward. There's a high bracket here that sticks up, but nothing like that on the other side. Maybe I'll just drill another hole here and it might, might work out. I drilled the hole. Here's how it should be installed. So it's installed. Here's how the blade moves. Very close, but it doesn't touch this bolt. From what I see, it should work much better now. I had to trim the rear edge a bit so it wouldn't hit the drive housing. The clutch engages like this. Uh, let's simulate a real Irish horizontal rain. Here's a typical situation that makes visibility from the cabin almost zero. Here's how it looks from inside. Turn it on. Very good. I'm quite pleased. You can see here where it doesn't reach this, this edge because it doesn't bend that much. But overall, what's there should be enough. The result is excellent now. Compared to how it was, this is fantastic. I also had an idea to try polishing the glass. The wiper can be removed like this, which is convenient. And now there's space to polish the glass. Strangely enough, polishing helped. I didn't expect that. The cloudy marks from the blade almost completely disappeared. It seems I can polish the glass weekly to maintain its clarity.
Каким образом восстанавливать его прозрачность? Well, I'll drive for another week, and then I'll share the results.